Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexander Floorzone. Today I have the Turtle Beach Recon 200 White Edition headset with me. I received this as a Christmas present from my best bud, Omega Goose, also on YouTube. He makes funny gaming videos, link in the description down there. Um, he gave them to me in Christmas of 2019, so I've been using these things for like over a year and I've used this headset, I would say, with medium to heavy use. So I've had a good experience of what it's like and how it is over time using it. To start off, it does come in black if you prefer a more subtle look on your headset. It'll cost you $59.95 USD or around $75 Canadian to buy it right from the Turtle Beach store. And so this is a very much a uh, middle of the line headset, not too fancy, but definitely not your cheap Amazon kind of buy. Getting right into things, on the side here, we have our headset volume dial, our microphone volume, and our switch to turn on and off, which actually has a PS4 side and an Xbox side. Although I found that for some reason, both of them work on Xbox and PC. I don't know about using it on PS4, but those switches, I, I don't know why they have two different ones. Maybe it used to not work properly, but there's been some sort of update to Xbox or PlayStation, I'm not sure. But then we have, it is a corded headset right here. So we have our three and a half millimeter cord, which is, I'd say it's about three and a half, four feet long, which is pretty standard, it's special there. Uh, this headset does also work with the Nintendo Switch and it works with mobile and Pretty much everything else i guess it's nothing special it's just a regular headset and it is also compatible with the nintendo switch our microphone here is pretty nice it's a hard plastic in opposed to one of those bendy things which i don't really like it's a uh, it's also got a really nice feature you have it down works when you put it up once you reach about this point right here it'll mute it, it does go a little farther but it doesn't really matter once you get it in the upright position it mutes the microphone and so that's just a good way to just flick it up rather than having to fumble around to try to find a, uh, a little mute button on your headset or on your cord, which I've struggled with before. It sucks pretty bad, but that's a really nice little feature there. Um, the microphone on this headset, pretty good. It sounds pretty solid when you're using it for the right purpose. I tried streaming a video with my Xbox Series X connecting this to the controller and for some reason the audio was all you know, jittery which was kind of weird but um, I did some voiceovers and just chatting through it in a chat in a game uh, it seemed to be all good it seems to be nice and clear as we've seen before the ear cups also flip in which makes it nice for carrying in a flat bag even if it still does take up quite a bit of real estate it's quite wide even if you have like a nice book bag, it'll be taking up like half the space, kind of annoying, but that's okay, at least they flip flat. They also feel very durable and sturdy. It's a nice quality plastic. Uh, the whatever what, 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 whatever you call the thing here, it, it, it feels good. Like it's not gonna snap in two seconds. Uh, the cord, I've yanked on it a couple times, just accidentally while it was, I don't know, attached to something and I pulled on it. I really thought that it was gonna I don't know, I'm just gonna start getting crackly audio from the from the line breaking way in there, but it was actually fine every single time. I've done that on a number of occasions, and so it's certainly not lacking in cord strength or anything like that. As for the audio, it definitely comes through nice and loud on my Xbox. I have the controller set to about half volume so that whatever headphones you plug into it, it'll be that certain volume, and then I run these things at full all the time, so there's definitely lots of headroom there for it to go very loud. I find it to be a very comfortable uh, volume just at that. Uh, plugging into a laptop, I put it at like the laptop was at, I don't know, like 12 volume while these things were at full. So they definitely have the, they, they definitely have the juice to. And before we move on, I just wanted to say that I was looking at the YouTube analytics and most of you guys who watch aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So, if you enjoy the content and you want to see more stuff like this and you're enjoying this video right now, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get notified for the next one. As for the fit of the headset, 
I've worn this thing a very many combined hours. Many, many. We got a small cushion on top and then the ear cups go right over your ears completely surrounding them, which is nice, which leads to great noise cancellation. Sure, it's not like incredible if you're, you know, if you're looking for a headset that's gonna block out the sound of your brother playing the drums next to you five feet away, it, it, it's probably not gonna do that. But it's definitely great for the price point. It's, it's, uh, it's something that I noticed right away when I first wore these headphones. And right, the, uh, the fit of them, the comfortability, I've worn these things for hours at a time, definitely, without a single, a single ounce of uncomfortableness. I never noticed that they like caused any sort of uh, like, you know, sore spots on my head or ears. I just, I just wore them, they're just great. They adjust pretty far. I mean, that's nothing special. That's something you just kind of expect out of a headset. But uh, yeah, I've worn these things for over a year and I've never found any uncomfortability, except if I were to take one side off like this, if I were trying to listen to somebody, since they have such good noise canceling. If I'm trying to listen to my wife talk, for example, she's trying to tell me something important, better listen up, right? Uh, so I would take, take one side off and uh, that can kind of get uncomfortable after a few minutes, but that's kind of a niche problem. Now the battery, the batteries, uh, I would say it's, it's great. It's as, as good as it needs to be, definitely. I've worn these things for hours at a time. Unless you're gonna be gaming, I, I have ran them out before, when gaming for like, I don't know, a really way too long, right? Like if you're gaming for six hours, you're gonna die. But if you game for like three hours and then put them down and let them charge for a while, as long as you always plug them in when you're done, they're, they're, they're always gonna be good. They're always gonna be good to go. Uh, another thing that kills them easily that I've done a number of times is leaving them on. It's really easy to leave them on. It'd be nice to have headphones or it'd be nice to have a headset with like automatic shut off feature or something where if you, if you, when you plugged it in, it just turned on automatically. But I mean, that probably exists just in fancier headsets, but uh, it, it, it will die if you leave it on, especially with the mic down, because when they're on with the mic down, it's picking up every single little microphone sound and putting it through the headphones and killing the battery. Uh, a great thing that I want to point out about these is that the battery has held up over time because I believe it's lithium ion inside here, which degrades every single time you charge it. So I was really worried that after, you know, after a year of use, I would start having to charge them like every couple hours of use or something absurd like that. But there's no noticeable difference. They're great. They feel like pretty much like new. It goes for the whole headset, actually. I There's nothing that's worn out about it. After a year, the ear cups, you can, you can sort of see on them, I guess. Maybe they're a little bit, a little bit not as shiny and crisp as they were, but they don't feel any harder. They're still nice and cushy. Cushion on top is still nice and cushy, if a little indented, but like, not noticeable at all. Uh, everything's all, good, no broken plastic, no broken cord, everything works 100%. I mean, uh, to wrap things up, I, I, I would have a hard time just picking up a product and even if it looked great, just straight up recommending it to the viewer, like you should buy this. Except that I've used these for over a year and they have not disappointed me, they've been great. Uh, the only issue that I really had, what I, I, I would say is that they seemed to die a lot, but that was because I, you know, I never charged them. So like, duh. One other thing though, one other thing, it, this is very niche. It, it's for those people who are gonna be gaming for eight hours straight or whatever with this. Um, you can use them while they're plugged in, but the cord just falls right out. I don't I don't think that was my cord. I've tried a couple different USB, uh, micro USB cords, first of all, to plug in there. And if you're wearing it, you give it the slightest little tug and it will just fall right out pretty much. So that's kind of a downer if you want to use them and you know, they happen to be out of battery at the time or something, I've done it. I can, you know, I've done it, you plug it in, you play it, as long as you're not like moving around or if your cord is sit properly, like you'll, you'll be all right. But it's just kind of an annoying little thing that the charge port is so loose for some reason, which, which is weird because I, I just bought some uh, Bluetooth headphones for my wife and the, the port is so unbelievably thick 
I don't know what you would call it, so stiff, that's what it is. So stiff, you stick it in there, you have to like really shove it in. Uh, don't worry, I'm not putting it in upside down. Uh, but you stick it in and it's, you have to like grab onto it, like with a really firm grip with like a couple fingers, almost like getting your whole hand around it and then uh, rip it apart. But anyway, uh, besides that, I'll probably do a little review of those headphones soon. They were just a somewhat cheap pair from Amazon, but I figure it would be good to have a look at them to see if maybe those headphones would be right for one of you guys watching the video. So anyway, uh, that, that wraps it up. That's all I got to say. Uh, thank you guys for coming to watch. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if it was informative or entertaining. Uh, please leave a comment to, to ask if you would like to see some other thing next and I can try to get my hands on it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more videos about uh, headphones and headsets in the future. I'll probably be doing as many as I can, as many as I can get my hands on just to uh, compare them and just see, you know, what's the best for the best price. So subscribe if you want to see more content of that or more reviews of anything or whatever I do on this channel. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.